KCC family, it's Saw Marie with Custom Coffee Crochet, and today we're going to learn how to do the stained glass um, crochet granny square. This is a beginner's video, but if you are uh, very new to crochet, like you've just started crocheting, there is a beginner video below which will show you how to do all the techniques and stitches that we're using today if you're that brand new. Um, but yeah, I would still say that this is definitely a beginner video and I'm gonna take it slow. This is done in two parts. So you have your front part and then you have your back part, um, which you might think, oh, that would make it really heavy, but I'm using a very lightweight yarn. Um, and so it's really not a heavy square. If you used a heavier yarn though, it might become heavy. So that's something to think about if you are gonna make a blanket or really anything out of this because you don't want it to be too heavy. So for the materials, I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook. I'm using a pair of scissors and I'm using a darning needle. Looks like this to work in our ends. Okay, now the yarn I'm using, like I said, it is a, it's a Hobby Lobby yarn um, and it is, uh, it is a smaller weight yarn. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is the rainbow color that I have in the in the background for the back. And I'm using this black yarn, which I'm hoping will show up good on camera. I do have a light here, pretty bright on us. So hopefully it'll come out okay where you can see how to use it. Black yarn can be kind of hard to work with, but having a very lighted area really helps, okay? And then even if you can't see really well, if you can just follow along with what I'm saying, that will help as well, okay? And this is the way the back looks. Okay, so it's really reversible if you make a blanket or anything with it, it would be reversible. Okay, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with a black piece that goes over the top. And again, these are both granny squares. Okay, so you might be familiar with at least the back part. The back part is just a basic granny square, so you might not even have to watch that part if you already know how to do that. But we're going to start with the black portion. So we've made our slip knot. Now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to slip stitch to make a ring back into our first chain. So the fourth chain from the hook, you're gonna put your hook in and then you're gonna pull through and do a slip stitch. And now you've got a little ring to work into, okay? And now you're going to be working in the middle of this ring. You want to make sure that you don't get into any of these other spaces that you pull it out so you can see the very middle of the ring. Okay, because sometimes what we do is we work into that slip stitch. All right, so then you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then you're going to do 12 double crochets in the middle of your circle, including this chain of three. So technically now you're going to do 11 double crochets in the middle of the circle. So one, two, three, and twelve. Then you're going to pull tight. And then you're going to slip stitch to the top of your first chain of three. So find your first chain here, and then you're gonna slip stitch to the very top of that chain. Okay. Then you're going to chain up three, one, two, three. And then you're gonna chain one more. So that's technically four. And then you're going to double crochet into your next available stitch right here. Then you're going to chain one and you're going to go double crochet in your next stitch. Chain one, double crochet in your next stitch. Chain one, double crochet in your next stitch. And you're going to just do that all the way around and you should have 12 of these double crochets. 
and 12, and then you're going to chain one, and then you're going to slip stitch to the top of this first chain of three. So you, you remember you chained four, so count up three. One, two, and three, and then you're gonna slip stitch right there, okay? And it's gonna curl up on you just like this. But that's okay, it will flatten out. Now you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna go into the top of this next double crochet and you're gonna put a single crochet. Then you're gonna chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna double crochet in the top of this double crochet. I mean, you're going to single crochet in the top of this double crochet. And then again, chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And single crochet into the top of the previous double crochet. So you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around. Chain five, single crochet into this stitch right here. So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then when you get done with this round, you should have 12 of these chain of fives around. And now we're on our last one here. So you want to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to slip stitch right to the base of this first chain that we did. Okay, so right there to the base of that, I'm going to slip stitch. So let me show you that real quick close up so you can see where to go. So right here is where we did our first chain of five. So I'm just gonna go right there under that, right there on the base, and do a slip stitch. So that's what it looks like so far. Looks like a little black flower. Okay, and now you're gonna slip stitch to your first chain of five. So you're going to slip stitch right into here. Then you're going to chain one and then you're going to put five single crochets in this chain five spot. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Just like that. Then you're gonna jump over to your next chain of five spot and you're going to put five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna jump over to your next spot and put five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And into the next. One, two, three, four, and five. So just do that all the way around. And then when we get close to the end, I'll meet you back up again. So now we're on our last chain of five here. So we're gonna put our five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to slip stitch to your first single crochet. So not the chain one we did, but the first single crochet right here, we're going to put a slip stitch just like that to join it together. And then you're going to slip stitch two more times in the next two stitches. So in the next stitch, put a slip stitch. And in the next stitch, put a slip stitch. And that's just to get us to the middle of this chain of five. Then we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna to go to the middle of your next chain of five. So starting over here, you're gonna count from this side, one, two, three. The third single crochet is the middle part that you need to single crochet in. So just like that, then you would chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. 
and then you would find the middle over here by counting over again. One, two, three, and then do a single crochet there in the middle. Okay, so again, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then count over one, two, three, and find the middle of your chain of, I mean, your single crochets from before. One, two, three, four, and five. Find the middle, do a single crochet, and just keep doing that all the way around. And then when we get close to the end, I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so we're on our last chain of five here. So chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And now you can see right here is where we did our first chain of five where we slip stitched over. So you're gonna do just like you've been doing and count over to the middle, one, two, and three. And that's exactly where you're going to put your slip stitch. Just like that. And that's what it looks like so far, kind of like a spider web. Okay, then you're going to slip stitch into the chain of five. And that's to just get us over there where we need to be. And now we're gonna turn this into a square. So you're going to chain two, and that chain of two counts as your first half double crochet. Then you're going to do a half double crochet just like that. Then you're going to do a double crochet. Then you're going to do a treble crochet, which is wrapping around your hook twice, going through our chain of five here, pulling up our yarn, go through two, go through two, go through two. Then you're going to chain two, and you're gonna do that treble again. Wrap your yarn around your hook twice, Go around, go through two, go through two, go through two. Then you're going to do a double crochet. And then you're going to do two half double crochets. One and two. And that is your first corner right there. Then you're going to go into your next chain of five and you're going to work four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Then you're going to go into your next space and work four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now you're going to work another corner. So you're going to go right into this space and you're going to work one half double crochet, one half double crochet, then a double crochet, then you're going to work a treble. Go through two, Go through two, go through two, then chain two, and work another treble. Then work a double crochet, and then work two half double crochets. One and two. And then in your next available chain of five here, you're going to do four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And in the next, you're going to work four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And now we're at a corner again. So now we're gonna do what we've been doing with our corners. So we're going to put two half double crochets, one and two. Then you're going to work a double crochet. Then you're going to work a treble. Go through two, go through two, go through two. Then chain two, 
and then you're going to work another treble. Through two, go through two, go through two. Then you're going to work a double crochet and then two half double crochets. So you're just gonna keep repeating these sequence all around, okay? So we're gonna work four half double crochets in our next spot, four half double crochets in the next spot, and then we're going to do a corner. When we get close to the end, I'll meet you back up again. Just worked our last four half double crochets in the spot right here. So now we're gonna slip stitch into that first chain of two that we did. So right there at the top of that chain of two, we're going to do a slip stitch. And then we're all done with the top portion of our stained glass granny square. So you can just pull through. And now we're gonna work on our ends. Now I don't usually do this on camera because it is included in my beginner video, but I still get a lot of questions from people on about how to work in your ends. So right here where I just finished, I'm gonna put this onto my darning needle. I'm gonna turn my work over to the back side this is the back side right here. You can tell the difference between the back and the front. And also this side is where, um, the back side is where your string's coming out for this middle portion that we did. But right now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna work this into the back side. So I'm gonna go in once, then I'm gonna go in twice, and then you would normally go in one more time, but I'm not gonna put it back on the darning needle. But that just shows you how to do that. But the safest bet is to work in your yarn three times, and I've had really good success with that. But if you feel like doing more, you can, but you definitely don't wanna do less. Okay, and then I'm going to work this in as well. One, two, and then I'm just gonna go back the other way to make sure that it doesn't come undone, three and then I can cut off. And now we are totally done with the front portion. Now it will look a little bit wonky. It, you might even think, Ugh, you know, it looks kind of like spider webby or whatever, but it's okay. It's gonna look lovely once we join everything together. So now let's work on the rainbow portion, <laughs> the colored portion of this that goes on the back side. okay? So I'm gonna pull out this yarn here we're still working with our 5.5 millimeter hook and we're going to do a slip knot and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then you're going to slip stitch to the first chain from your hook, so the fourth chain or first, whatever you wanna say. And then we're going to chain up three, two, and three. And then you're going to put um, three more double crochets into the middle of the circle. One, two, and three. Just like that. So technically we have four with our first chain of three here. One, two, three, and four. Then you're going to chain two, and then you're gonna put four double crochets into the circle again. One, two, three, and four, and then chain two again, and then you're going to put four more double crochets. And you might be familiar with this because this is a basic granny square, so if you feel like fast forwarding, you can but I still wanted to show in case someone didn't know how to do it. So there's four more double crochets. Then we need to chain two, and this is our last set because we need four to make our little square. So now we're gonna put four more double crochets into the circle. One, two, three, and four. And don't forget, you need to chain two again, one and two. And then you're going to slip stitch into the top of that first chain of three that we did. Just like that. Then you can pull tight on the middle. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. 
And so you see, we have one, two, three, four groups of these double crochets. So that chain of three is gonna count right over this double crochet here. Then you're going to double crochet in the top of your next double crochet, double crochet in the next top of this double crochet, and double crochet in the top of this previous double crochet. So now we have four double crochets across, just like that. Now we're at a corner. And in this corner, you're going to work two double crochets. You're going to chain two. And then you're going to work two double crochets. Just like that. Then we're going to work in the top of these again. So right here, as you can see, sometimes this might go over this. Don't forget this first double crochet right there. So one. And then another double crochet, two, then three, and then four. And now we're at a corner again. In this corner, you will work two double crochets, one and two. Then you will chain two and put two more double crochets. And see, that's a perfect example of how that went over this stitch right here somewhat. So make sure you pull that over so you don't forget this stitch right here. It's a common mistake a lot of people make when they're doing a granny square, and then it just looks all kinds of lopsided. So there's one, again, two, three, and four. And then at a corner, we're going to do two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And now we're at the very top. We need to do four double crochets again. One, two, three, and four. And now we're on our last corner. We're gonna put two double crochets. Then you're gonna chain two and put two more double crochets. One and two. Then you're going to slip stitch into the top of that first chain of three that we did. Right there at the very top, do a slip stitch. And now we have a little square. So you're just gonna keep going with this. So just like you did before, you're going to chain up three, one, two, and three. That counts as this double crochet right below. And then you're going to double crochet across on the top of each of the previous ones till you get to your corner. And this is why it increases because now you are going through the double crochets that you made in the corner on the very beginning there, just like that. So now you're at a corner and you're going to put two double crochets. Then you're going to chain two and you're going to put two more double crochets. And again, you're gonna be working across the top here. One, two with double crochets, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just like that. Now we didn't have eight over here because we started right here um, over two. So that's why we didn't have eight there, but we're going to do those last two at the end. So we're at a corner now and we're going to put two double crochets. Then you're going to chain two and put two more double crochets. Then you're going to slide that over, make sure you don't miss this one, and you're gonna do your double crochets across the top. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and eight. And again, we're at a corner. We're going to put two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Pull that over, make sure we don't miss this one, and then do our double crochets across the top again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're at a corner, so we're going to put two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Make sure you pull this over, and we have these two left that we need to work. One and two. And now we can slip stitch to the top of our chain of three that we first did. Okay. And that ends row three. So we need one more row and it's gonna work just like we did for the other ones. So I'm gonna get you started and then I want you to work this on your own, okay? So you're going to chain three and that counts as the double crochet right over this one. So you're gonna go into your next stitch and put a double crochet and you're gonna cr double crochet all across the top till you get to your corner. So when you get to your corner, do two double crochets, one and two. Then you're going to chain two and do two more double crochets. And then you're gonna work your double crochets across the top, do your corner and just keep going just like we did before. So on these, you should have one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So, 12 double crochets across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, just like that. So you would go into your next stitch, work a double crochet, into your next stitch, work a double crochet. Just keep going all the way across, and then when you get to your corner, do two double crochets, chain two, and then two more double crochets. So you go ahead and finish that up, and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I've worked my last corner here. So right now, we have these last double crochets at the top. So we have one, two, three, and four. And then you're gonna slip stitch to the top of your chain of three. And then we're all done with this because that was our fourth row and we needed four rows. So then you can tie off and work in your ends. Now across the top here, we now have 16, okay? So we have, and this is important because this is how we're gonna sew this together. So what you're counting is right here is a corner so I'm gonna put my hook through here. There's a corner. And then over here, I'll use this. Over here is another corner. And that's where we're gonna be sewing them together from here to here. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's what we're gonna be using at the top because this is also 16 because uh, from this corner to this corner, there's four, 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 and four. So that's how they're gonna line up perfectly, okay? But let's go ahead and work in our ends. So again, I'm gonna pull this to the back. And I'm gonna work it in three times with a corresponding color. 
Okay, so one, two, and three. And then I can cut off. And then I'm going to pull this tight. And I'm gonna work in this middle piece here. And I'm just gonna go around one. And as I do this, this will bring that hole even closer uh, or cl it'll close it up. And so we've worked that in now as well. And then we can cut off. So now what I'm gonna show you to do, how to do is I'm gonna show you how to join these together. Now I'm going to be using the black to join these together. And I'm actually gonna be joining with a single crochet. So let me get my black yarn here. And you're going to lay this with the front point, uh, pointing towards you. And you're gonna lay this one with the front pointing towards you. So this is the front and this is the back. And this is the front and this is the back, okay? So they're both facing you. And then you're gonna line them up from corner to corner. So right here is a corner and right here is a corner. Now just for the sake of the video, and this might help you as well, I'm going to put my hook right there, okay? Just to hold that in place in the corner. And then I'm gonna go into my first double crochet here. And my first double crochet here that I've got lined up, remember those 16. And then I'm gonna pull in my black yarn. I'm gonna chain one. And then I'm gonna go right back into that same place and put a single crochet. And I'm gonna work single crochets by lining these up all the way across. Okay, so there's three and four. And then we've got these four. One, two, three, And four. It helps me to count these out in fours just to make sure I'm getting the right spot. And again, one, two, three, and four. And normally, I don't think it matters so much when you're putting stuff together if it lines up. But for this in particular um, pattern, it does matter. It looks better when they're lined up really well. So one, two, three, and four. But if for some reason you've missed one or it's not on count or something's wrong, don't give up, just keep going. Okay, maybe you need to skip one or you need to add one. That's fine. Just keep going all the way around. Okay, so now you're at your corner and in your corner, I want you to put three single crochets. One, two, and three. And now right here, don't forget this stitch, you're going to start putting these together. So right there and right there. There's one, two, three, and four. And then one, two, three, and four. Now it helps me to move mine forward so that I can see the back as well. Um, but you don't have to do that. I just go like that so I can see which one to work into next. So there's one, two, three, and four. And again, one, 
two, three, and four. And I don't know why, like I said, it just really helps me to count those fours out instead of just counting to 16, um, just to really pay attention to my stitches. So now I'm in a corner again, and I'm going to do three single crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, and then I'm going to start going across again. So I want you to go across here, doing what I showed you, do your three single crochets in the corner, and then work your way down here. And then when we get to this end here, I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so I just finished here at the very top, and now I'm at my last corner, okay? So right into this corner, I'm going to put three single crochets. One, two, and three. And then I'm going to slip stitch to my first single crochet that I did. Not that chain of one, but the single crochet. Just like that. And then I'm going to cut off and tie in. And then just like we've done through the entire video, I'm gonna work in my ends. So all I should have now are these two pieces right here. I'm gonna turn my work over and I'm gonna make sure that I work them back here through the back. As a matter of fact, I do wanna show you how to do this because when you get around to the back, you don't have a lot of black to work through, but you don't wanna work through your color because you might wanna turn your blanket or whatever you're making over and you don't wanna see that black through. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna work back through here, through these black, this black area here. One, two, three. Just going different directions. Make sure that it never comes undone. And then you can cut off and then you'll do the same thing for this one. You'll go back and you'll work this way back and forth until it's worked in. And isn't that absolutely beautiful? The color comes through just gorgeously. So I hope this was, um, and I just made up my own word, gorgeously. <laughs> so uh, I think this is pretty easy. Let me know what you guys think below. Um, this is, I think the variegated yarns work great for this, but if you do not have a variegated yarn, when you're working this granny square in the back, you can change colors as you go. This would be great for scrap yarn as well. So you could do a color, a color, a color, a color, and then all those colors will jump through to the front. But I think it's a little bit easier, uh, less yarn to work in if you're using a variegated yarn, and I think it looks beautiful. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Happy crocheting. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.